This video is six lecture from a mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013. This is the last part available in YouTube from building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013 mini course. In this video, you will learn some of the prerequisites that we will use within the course and security is the one of the important feature in SharePoint. So we'll talk about permissions in this lecture and rest of the free mini course on building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013 is available at SharePoint Journey School. Next section covers various workflow types that you will be building which explains about sequential state machine workflow. We will discuss about various settings in the workflow how to deploy across the environments which is crucial if you are working on projects and there are a lot more concepts that we are going to discuss. So sign up for building workflows using SharePoint Designer 2013 mini course and check it out. Next thing we need is what type of permissions we have to use for those groups because the same kind of permissions will be applied for the users. If I go to site settings here and look at site permissions, we can see different types of permissions that was applied for each group. Employees has contribute without delete which is a custom permission level that is being added whereas the other groups like IT has full control they can do everything managers can only approve HR also can only approve and finance too we have assigned different types of permission levels for each group and users within that group will have same set of permissions that is the idea behind creating groups and adding the users so if I go to site settings and look at peoples and groups one more time and each group will have group settings okay so let's go to employee here and under settings click on group settings so we can see what is the title of that particular group owner always you assign to site team owners or owners of the particular site and in the group settings make sure who can view the membership of the group is set to everyone which is very very important otherwise uh, the emails will not be sent to those users which are part of that particular group so make sure you have set that setting to everyone thanks for watching this youtube mini series you can continue this course and learn at our sharepoint journey school by clicking on the link shown on the screen in the next section of the course i'll discuss about workflow types and deployments with example sign up also gives latest videos on this particular course